and I think it could be good for you if you already had something very clear to work with. But especially in the early stages of entrepreneurship, needing to make money fast is a weakness because it means that you need to then do like the lower, the lower tier businesses because every kid wants to make money. So they're all watching online and then, you know, it's those um, YouTube videos where they're all clickbait off, oh, make $500 a top seven passive income, you know, how to make five, $700 a day with uh, top se seven, like all these videos, they're made for little kids who are trying to make like $10 today. But if you want to be an entrepreneur, this isn't a, a game that you play for a year and then you just quit. Entrepreneurship is, it's, it's like a personality. It will never go away. So thinking, yeah, I'll just start this business, then I'll stop it. It's kind of pointless because if you're going to start a business, I'm not saying that you have to start the one that's going to last forever, but I'm saying that you should start the business that you actually want to do and that you actually go ahead and do. You've tried this business, like, you know, this idea that you've had so far, and you're just not really doing it. You've tried it that way. So it's like, okay, well, are you really losing something if you maybe just forget this idea for now and think, okay, what is like a, a business that I could do? Like you said, for example, you really want to be a strong man. You probably watch like those kinds of videos on YouTube. You probably like them, but you said, okay, it's going to be a few years till you're like big enough or strong enough to be respected in that scene. You can't call yourself a strong man. What if you didn't call yourself a strong man? What if you recorded yourself as young teenager who wants to be a strong man? And even spoke about this challenge with your parents and say, you know, this is tricky. Like, I want to be a strong man, but it's a shame that you can't just make money from it like a normal job. And suddenly all the young strong men around the world watch it. Think, yeah, exactly. Like, that's, that's how I'm feeling. What if you gained a following like that and suddenly people, you found like a product to sell. You got sponsorships. Suddenly some other guys were younger than you and they want to ask about like, oh, but you know, diet and how do I train safely? And these guys would pay you $100 just to go on a video call with you. Imagine, it, would you rather make one, 2K a month from doing this where you get to speak about training, which you would, pro you would probably do for free, right? Or would you rather make 4K or 5K from something that you actually hate? And you, like sometimes you have to miss a gym workout because you've got to do this other business. Which life would you rather have? It's interesting that you care so much about investing. Hmm. I'm not too sure if that's the best way to go about your your path to wealth. You see, no one actually gets rich from investing. There's no one ever in the history of mankind who's gotten rich from investing. Every other every person who seems like they got rich from investing actually got rich from something else, and then they they had a lot of money, and they then put that into investments, and then that money made even more money. Gambling is different. Buying something that goes up in oh, 10 times or something, which is speculative and it's crypto and it's this random stock that goes to the moon or something, some shit coin. It's like, that's just gambling at this point. That's like going to the casino. That's not investing. But investing in real estate, investing in uh, dividends, you said, and in index funds. It's like, these things are cute. These things are really cute. If you're a man who isn't ambitious and has low testosterone and low sense of self-worth. But for men who actually have balls you invest in yourself whatever money you make you invest in yourself till you're making a lot of money tens of thousands per month you have so much money that you don't know what to do with it where are you going to put the money because it's not safe in a bank account anymore now you put it into investments up until you have too much money in bank accounts you should spend absolutely zero seconds thinking about investing it, it it's a total waste of time and the people who make those investing videos where they tell you how to start investing from $50 they're not making those videos to help you they're making those videos because it's a high CPM and they make money from you I'm telling you as someone who cares for you and I have I don't have a trading 212 sponsorship to try and tell you you know free free stock if you click the link in my description I've got nothing to sell you in terms of investing right when you have too much money in your bank account then you should think about investing till you have I'd say above 100k literally a hundred thousand dollars in a bank account there is absolutely no point in looking at normal investments you shouldn't look at normal investments you should just spend as much money as you possibly can on your own development that will give you 10 to 100 to a thousand to maybe a million times higher roi than any normal investment that you could possibly look at 
getting literally investing in someone to cook your food let's say if you're a little bit older that has a higher roi than every crypto every stock put together